I want to talk with you about a concept that I'm calling authentic pricing. It is pricing your services, products, and programs in a way that feels really true to the value you're providing your clients and your customers and not pricing based on what just pricing based on what your competitors are charging or what a business coach tells you you should be charging. It is also not pricing based on charge what you're worth. I think that's a very dangerous concept. And by the way, I have a cat here. He likes to jump up sometimes when I'm doing my videos. So this is officially an internet cat video now. <laughs> um, anyway, so I was saying that there is a danger to charging what you're worth. And I've written about this before, and I'll put a link to that blog post in the notes of this video. But here, I want to give you a framework for authentic pricing. That's something you can use and, and adjust your pricing to, to, a, way, to a, a place that you feel really good about. And that's really, at the end of the day, that's what I, I hope for you, that you're pricing your services in a way that feels really congruent for you. Like, yes, I feel good about the rate that I'm charging my client, and my client feels that the rate is authentic to me, that it, it makes sense to me. Okay, ideally, I like to give my client the sense that, wow, that's a really good deal. And I feel like, yes, I, I think it's a great deal what I'm charging the client. I feel really good about what I'm earning, and the client feels really good about what I'm charging them. That is the equilibrium that I hope to help you achieve with this simple framework. Okay, so the framework goes like this. You start with what you need, what you truly need to earn, not what you are unlimited appetites and desires as a human being might be, but what you need. And I will also put a link in the notes of the video to a, to, to a video I made helping you come to an understanding of what you need to charge at a minimum. And then you can go up from there if you want to, but you need to figure out what your minimum rate must be. And then what, whatever is up above that can be a bonus, can be additional, you know, uh, additional blessing for you. So start with what you need, okay? And the reason I like doing that is because I, I, based, I believe in charging based on enoughness, what I need, that's enough, and based on compassion for my clients, right? So start with what you need. And then also look at what your niche mates are charging, other people who have a similar offering as you, uh, offering to a similar market as you, what are they charging? so that you are uh, coming into play with the market's expectations of what this kind of service is. Now, it's also very helpful to be specific about what your service is so that it's easier for you to compare with other people who are offering a spe same specific thing. What does the market tend to expect that kind of rate to be? Okay, so one is what you need Second is what is the market expectation of this kind of specific service, okay? And then the third part is what is the relationship you have with your audience, with the client? Now, what I mean by relationship is the more that the client, the, the, the more you have demonstrated your expertise, the more that you have demonstrated um, your care for the audience, the more they tend to trust you and that relationship becomes built. And this is why I talk a lot in my content about the importance of creating authentic, consistent, and relevant content for your audience. Because the more you do that, the better the relationship between you and your audience. And the better between you and your audience the relationship is, the more leeway you have to charge a rate that you feel really good about and that increasingly they think it's a good deal because the more the relationship is strong, the more that your service or product or program is the only one that they would go with. Of course, lots of other people offer the same kind of thing, but if your relationship is strong with your audience, the more they say, well, I must work with that person. Okay. So what it is you need? What is it you need? That's the first part. Start with that as a baseline. What is the market expectation? So you can see, okay, you know, the market tends to charge 
you know, $200 an hour, $100 an hour, whatever it is for that, then you can adjust your rate above or below the market based on the relationship you have with the audience. Got it? Because if you are marketing to a cold audience who doesn't know who you are, then if you charge more than the market rate, they're going to say, well, who are you to charge this? Right? Because I don't literally, who are you? I don't know who you are. You don't have credibility with me. But the more credibility you have, the more relationship you have with the audience. That's how I like to build credibility is to build a relationship with the audience by sharing useful, helpful, uh, authentic content. Right? Because I think that builds us. It's great for our personal growth as well. It's also great for the relationship with the audience. It blesses the audience as well. It's a service to them. So I hope that this simple formula will help you to adjust your pricing uh, in a way that feels better to you and better to your audience. And again, I'll include additional links in the notes of this video to help you further clarify these things. As always, I'm open to your questions and your comments. And until the next video, I wish you well.